guys, it's Shauna, and after a year of living in this house, I thought I would do a quick scrap room tour, and right now you're just looking at my overall room coming up into our loft area, and sorry on the end there, that's my daughter's little two messy cubby holes in my room, so she has her stuff like all over the place, I just noticed, because that's one thing I didn't clean up when I came up. So basically, I'm on my iPhone, so I apologize if I'm a little shaky. On the windowsill, I just have these photo boxes, and inside each one is little die cuts, and I label them with washi so that they're easily removable, and have four of those. And then if you go over here, I'll start at the top of my Calax however it's pronounced, to have my twine, and I keep all the loose twine in here, junk, and this is kind of just a little decorative piece with my initial, and my friend made me that cute little minion uh, cross stitch, and so I added these little minion guys on the bottom, and my hubby put together this huge Star Wars Lego to adorn my shelf. <clears throat> Pardon me, I have a little cough today. So, a little overlook of that shelf. And so, I got these baskets from TJ Maxx a long time ago. So, my washi and some of the packaged wood veneers go in those. And then, these drawer organizers hold all the open, mostly, like loose veneer. And these I got at, was it Walgreens? Divided into threes. These are the die cuts that I don't have in the other containers. So I have like three of those. And then these larger photo containers for um, some of my more favorites that I might have like a ton of die cuts like Maggie Holmes and whatnot. And over here is a container I bought at Target recently with folders, separate of course, and it holds all my rub-ons. It fits in there perfectly. <clears throat> then I have this with a bunch of random die cuts and pads and envelopes and things. And then this little drawer thing that I got at an antique shop is a bunch of tags and envelopes. Down here I just have like a basket of flowers, some albums, a bunch of doilies in a basket. And then these ice cream dishes I found at TJ Maxx, just like corrugated shapes and foam and cork. And this is like a junk basket of shipping stuff. Well not shipping stuff but wrapping like little treat bags and tissue paper and things. Then I have these cute little star containers that my friend got me. You know her, Vanessa, from 77 Butterfly Love. Anyway, they are full of Martha Stewart glitter. And over here I have stickles and glitter glue and some beads. And then I just got a fused tool and so I picked up a glass mat and I haven't opened it yet. So it's just sitting down there. Over here, these shelves were also from TJ Maxx. Sorry, it's so bright. And so this is all, well, starting over here, sorry about my finger. I have like my bigger sticker sheets. They fit perfectly in here and I like to be able to flip through them. And then everything else is kind of like new embellishments that I haven't opened yet. So I have them somewhat sorted, but I really need to go through them again. <laughs> Over here we have the top of my bookshelf. These are all like six by 12 stickers. And this is a really old cropper hopper container that I just love. You can see it's like falling apart. These are just random empty containers, ignore those. And this is my Hobby Lobby drawer thing. It's full of like little bows or pins flare just little embellishments I love it's kind of an expensive unit but I got it when it was on sale so 
I really like that. And this is another Hobby Lobby thing for my sequins. And it just opens up like that, and I have them in little jars by color. And then some of the bigger sequins are up here in the packages in the white bin and then over here I have some art that I made not really art but like a photo collage and a little felt cloud thing I made oh boring mailing supplies then I have a bunch of these 12 by 12 starlight drawer drawers that I faced with washi tape recently I'm not sure I love it because it comes off and I have to like stick it down all the time but I have like acrylic shapes in here, a bunch of random 3D sticker items, borders, I hate storing borders, <laughs> it's such a pain, and just some random chipboard sheets, the smaller ones, and then more, and we have, oh, that's like practically empty because I kind of did a purge and sold a big lot of chipboard shapes and then this huge drawer full of 12 by 12 chipboards that I always forget I have so there's like hardly any used and then these are all sticker books like Mombi and Tim Holtz and American Crafts and then I just have like a miscellaneous studio calico drawer because I get their kits and I just throw stuff in there um, I have this down here, just an old printer shelf we had, just junk, nothing really to look at. Over here, I have a, oh, I keep putting my finger in front, um, a little cubby shelf with photos and felt, and then I have a little drawer stuff that I have listed for sale down there. <clears throat> and then in here, some bling, more decorations, I think all those are from Michael's a long time ago. This is like my messy pre-made card, note card, etc. shelf that I need to go through and clean up. And then up here, I have more drawers and you can see by the labels, these are all ink pads. So I'll just open one of them up and they all sit in there like that. And then moving on up, I have my nerdy lost poster and some action figures because I love that show, and in here you can see the inks from Prima, and all my embossing things, and my meager stamp collection. I have them all sorted by brand, but I don't have a lot because I did a huge purge. So there's those, and then these are just needing sorted into the right category. And then down here is another little container. Um, it's like a packet storage container. You know those McCormick things for your sauces and things. This is like goes in your pantry. But anyway, it's perfect for little stamps to throw in there. And oh, up on the wall I have some more adhesives like Mod Podge and Crackle Accents and things. And then panning over here... Look at top first, just some Heidi Swap paste or whatever it is, and then some more daubers. And then my shelf is from Target, and they do still sell them. And this is my immense collection of mists. I do own like all the Mr. Hueys, which is nuts. And I have some Heidi Swap and SEI, some October Afternoon, and then I have these daubers which I love ignore the water bottle that's just for when I'm painting and things I just kind of keep it lying around the scrapbook room um this is my ultra terrible goodie box and then I'm gonna pan over to my table this side I have on the top left just layouts that I need to put in albums which is getting ridiculous so I need to get busy with that and on the bottom is scraps just like paper scraps and on the top right I have punches and an album project I'm working on for a friend and then underneath is like complete mini albums and handmade cards okay up here this is near my mists so I call this my messy spot 
I have like a magnetic mat down, but it's just there because <clears throat> I don't want to use the black, the nice mats over here. Plus, the roller is magnetic so I can buckle down my projects if I need to when I'm misting and stuff. And so this is a really old Making Memories organizer. I know they came out with a wood one like this, but this is just like cardboard. And I stuff all my uh, stencils in there. And these are just empty drawers. I might have some tiny ones in there, but I don't know. Here, just have my paper towel holder. And this is actually the other side of my desk. So I'm just going to go over here first and show you my big shot area. So just, of course, the big shot. And then just have this little bin for dyes and things, which is empty because, again, I purged. So I don't have that many left. And come around. Okay, real quick shot of my daughter's nasty spot that she's going to clean up after she gets home from school. And if you come over here, I'll start here with my Rasca, if that's how you pronounce it. So I use mine like an art cart. It has all my pens and markers and some gelatos here. Um, go down here and have paints, Copics, and other kinds of markers. More paint. And then down here I have my mixed media book, watercolors, watercolor markers, and like my paint palettes or folders or whatever. And up here, hey, there's my pile of new stuff that'll be in a haul soon. I have all my planner stuff here. I'm not like really big on it, but I do keep a planner. So in here, this was the Seven Gypsy little drawer thing, but I painted it to match my room so I have like sticky notes and things in there and same with this this container is from Target it's like a media container but it has all my list pads and notebook things in there so and then if I go over here in this storage is all like my tiny sticker sheets that I don't put with my 12 by 12 and then a little plastic container with adhesives and oops sorry let me do this I have all my enamel dots and puffies in another one of these packet sorter things that's a little junk bowl it has like my tripod thing in there and whatever my trusty versafine is always on my desk so this is my actual work spot let me pan down real quick look how dirty it is it's not actually that dirty, it's stained. I need to paint the top of my table again really bad. So these are all albums down here and they're full for the most part. Up here I have the Making Memories desktop organizer and it spins, so you probably all know that. But of course you can see that I painted it. It was white. And it just holds all my tools, adhesives and things that I use like all the time. And then I have this little camera container where I have just a bunch of junk I just not sorted. Some cute little owl containers full of tape and my little date stamp because we're getting over here close to my project life station. There's just a little trimmer and some junk in there. And here's where I'm working for project life. I have my messy box kit there I'm working with. So if I go back here I made this Project Life box, I probably showed it before. It's just four of the old magnetic boxes taken apart from Studio Calico and washi taped together. And so there's all my cards and I have them labeled little tabs. And then more like four by six pads, some Allie Edwards kits and stuff like that are in here, a bunch of cardstock pieces. And these little baskets were a dollar at Target. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so on some of my storage trunks over here, I put my Project Life album so that it can stay open and I can look at what I need next. Then there's my exciting trash can. Woohoo! And down here, 10 million packs of thickers. Love. If I go back up here, I actually hung some layouts from my curtains and panning over here I have sorry my tripod's in the way I 
got all these items at Target not too long ago, except for the mirror. I purchased that ages ago at TJ Maxx. And I finally put up a little wall art here. And this is kind of a junk corner. More stuff on the wall. And the dog bed. I have this old dinosaur pencil sharpener and my glue guns and all my eight and a half by eleven cardstock is in this little cubby thing my cubby my hubby built. <laughs> and so okay, let me back up. Making you dizzy. The last part of my room are also things that my hubby built for me. So these are for my paper racks, and you can see all the 12 by 12 there. And it's sorted by brand or manufacturer or whatever you say. And then of course these are all my six by sixes and some other sizes and loose papers. And 12 by 12 paper pads, eight by eights, eight and a half by 11. And then these are like collection packs, specialty papers and holiday papers. And then cardstock. I have another thing of cardstock, but it's downstairs at the computer desk with my cameo so I don't keep that upstairs because we don't have the internet connected in my room which was really dumb so I did paint these with a the little polka dot stencil and these are my junk cabinets where I don't want stuff out like sewing things that are just not like an everyday use I don't know what's in these could be scary uh, extra storage and like some mini album things. And I used to collect dolphins, so I have all these up here. So that is really about it. I do have my bookshelves over there too. And my son's messy room showing that I have everything on the bed because I'm scrubbing the carpet. So I'm just gonna pan real quick. That little tub there on the floor is just our library book. So this is my lovely crafting area. And I hope I haven't made you too dizzy. And that's about it. Thanks so much for watching.